No Vinicius, no, no. Casemiro, no. and no Karim Benzema. No. So it's Marco Asensio who scores to lead Real Madrid to an important 1-0 win over Granada. Jules, this was a bounce back after losing in the Copa del Rey Thursday and pretty important. Really important, yeah, because Sevilla dropped points as well. So now the lead at the top is six points. Not a good first half. Again, this is something that we've seen before, especially against teams like Granada who defend well and play really deep and etc. And especially when you don't have Vinicius and Benzema, they and liked a lot of creativity and ideas and Courtois had to make a really good save early on as well, like he often does. Much better second half and in the end they had enough chances to win the game, of course. And you won it, that's the most important. No worthy. Move on. Marcelo starts because it was a for yeah, no And Real Madrid press. don't lose. Yeah, for once. I'll actually win a game, which yeah. is pretty good. And he's got center forward? Yeah. Not so much. Yeah, not, not so, so much. much. Betis are beaten at home by Villarreal 2 0. Jules, this felt a little bit like smash and grab to me. <laughs> yeah, there was a bit of that. Suddenly, uh, goal on set pieces, Pau Torres for Villarreal, and then late, late, Capu with a wonderful strike. Oh. Really, really wonderful. And Betis with a lot of. Well, they looked a bit tired. I have to say, they played in midweek in Copa del Rey, which, which Villarreal didn't do. Uh, and this is a team that moved the ball so well that needs a lot of energy, really. And. And they've been more clinical in the past, for sure, than they did than they, they were did much in that better game. Than we yeah, really yeah. Thought. And it's just a shame. I don't think, in the grand scheme of things of the season, this should hurt them or harm them even in the top four finish uh, or the race for top four. But yeah, let's let's be more clinical and, and maybe find a bit more energy because the problem is they also have the Copa del Rey still to play. They will have the the Europa League against Zenit to play as well. So there's a lot of games coming for Betis with not not the much bigger squad either. Ivan Rakitic misses a penalty in injury time in Sevilla are held to a nil-nil draw at Osasuna, which mm. means they lose ground on Madrid. Penalty aside, Jules, this was not a good performance from Lopetegui's no. crew. In fact, it again, would have been a smash and grab. Yeah, it would have been. Not good again, collectively, individually. I think they haven't won in four nine all competitions. They can't score goals. I know Marcel has just arrived and I think he will need a bit of time to... But I think he need a long time given his performance. Oh, he yeah. was pretty poor. He was really poor. Uh, but the team was poor as well. You can't expect him to, you know, to, to, to do Ticatito a miracle. Corona wasn't poor. He <laughs> oh, played yeah. well. You love him so much. <laughs> He's had a big impact, to be fair, since arriving. But yeah, we're going to forget and then move on. But now they, they need to look more behind them, to be fair, for that second place than, than above them with where Real Madrid are. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.